So in this program, we're going to use if statements, um, those are conditional statements, and a while true loop to create like a little savings program. Um, so we're going to tell how many days, um, how much money we're saving every single day, and how much we want uh, total, and it's going to calculate how many days it'll take for us to get there. Um, so let's start. Uh, I just created a, a new notepad plus plus document, and I saved it as savings.py. Um, so I need to get an input from the user, um, and it's going to be, I guess it can be a float, right? Because they could save 850 every day, and it's the input's going to be how much can you save every day? Okay. And I want to store that information, so I'm going to set a variable equal to it, um, and I'm going to say daily saving. Um, if you capitalize this uh, second, like if you have two words and you capitalize the second one, that's called camel case. Um, it's just a little bit easier to see what that word says um, if it's two of them than if I was just to do this. Uh, just visually, it's harder to see where the first word ends and the second word uh, begins. So that's called camel case. Uh, feel free to use it if you want. Um, okay, so now I know how much they're saving. So what I want to do is I want to ask them, you know, what are you saving up for and how much does it cost? Um, so the item is going to equal the input of what are you saving for? And item cost is going to be the float input of Now, uh, uh, days. Perfect. Um, close that up. Um, so now I've got the first three key elements, right? So let's figure out, um, let's figure some things out. The first thing that I want to do is I need to create a loop. So this first loop that I'm going to do is called a while true loop. Now the first thing that we got to know the difference between while true loops and for um, for x and range zero to uh, whatever loops. While true loops can go on forever, right? Over and over and over again. So every time we add in a while true loop, the first thing is that we have to add in there is what makes this loop end, which is called a break, right? Um, basically, what we're going to do inside this loop. And so we're going to have to include that every single time that, um, that we do that. That'll be the first thing that I, I want to include every time I make a while true loop. Um, the second thing I want to do is I want to um, uh, add the daily savings to the total savings, right? Because I'm going to start off with $0, um, and then I'm going to add to it. Um, so I'm going to add it up. So I'm talking about what, what's going to happen over and over again. If I say I'm adding $10, I'm going to plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. Um, and at a certain point, I'm going to break that off when it gets to the cost, um, the, the, the total cost. The last thing I want to do inside my loop is I want to um, print, basically print off the progress. Um, and here's the last one I want to do. I want to count how All right. So I'm also going to count how many times it took to complete that calculation. So if I say $5 a day, and I want to figure out when it'll take me to get to $9,000, um, every time I go through the loop, I'm going to have a counter going. That's, that's the first time through, the second time through, the third time through. So that way, um, I can basically say, uh, you know, it took you 95 days to get to that certain point. Okay, so now I got the stuff inside my loop um, kind of mapped out. Let's start doing it. The first thing I want to do is, let's try it number two, right? We can do these in any order. But adding the daily savings to the total savings is a good spot to go. So I can't just do something like this, daily daily savings equals, you know, I, I need another variable basically. 
So I'm going to do like total cash. Total cash. So total cash is going to equal whatever it did before, and then I'm going to add to that the daily the daily savings, right? Um, actually, I'm going to leave these lowercase to remain consistent. Um, the only problem with this is I haven't defined what the total cash is. So there's two different options I, I could do here. I could assume that we start off with zero dollars, or I could say how much money do you have right now? Um, and I'm going to do the second one. Uh, and I need to do a float to accept decimals. Now, so that way um, I can start out with any um, any value. So I say five dollars a day, um, and I already have a hundred. Um, I don't have to start from zero. So my total cash is going to be whatever it was before, the first time through the loop. And then I'm going to add whatever I'm saving on top of that each time through. Um, and daily savings is going to be a set amount. So if they say $17, this will always be plus 17, plus 17, plus 17. Um, okay. I want to print off the, uh, the progress. So I want to say, um, cool, you have dollars. And this one's going to get a little bit more complex as we uh, start going through it. Um, but for now, all I'm going to put in there is just tell them how much money they have. Um, and so that should be total cash inside of there. Okay. The last thing I want to add, well, I guess before we... Um, before we start testing it, is what's going to make this thing end? Because if I run it right now, uh, how much can you save every day? I can save 60 bucks. What are you saving for? Um, Paddleboard. Uh, how much does that cost a day? That costs a thousand bucks. And how much do I have now? I have five. Ooh, daily savings not defined. Uh, daily savings. Uh, ooh, forgot that S. Shucks. Let's try that again. Five. Paddleboard. A G, I have six dollars. See, this thing's just gonna run, 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 run forever because we never told it to stop. And while this is pretty mesmerizing to watch, uh, not super useful for us. So let's take a look here. Uh, we need to figure out what what makes it break. So we're gonna use an if statement. Now, what I want to do is I want to figure out um, under what circumstance would I want to stop counting. Well, I think that if my total cash was ever greater than or equal to the item cost. So what that's doing is um, it's basically saying every single time I'm updating my total cash, right? And it's going to keep checking if it's actually bigger than the cost of the item. So if I have $1,000 and the paddleboard costs $900, that's when it's going to break. So I need to go into this if statement. And every time you have an if statement, you need a tab right underneath it and all that stuff will be in that if statement. So same thing with loops. I de-dented, I mean I, I indented here, so this break is only affected by this if. Um, if I was to tab this in, now total cash would only be added if this was also true. If I de-dent it, now it's gonna happen each time. So when you look at your loops, Everything on one line is the things that run every single time. So it's going to check if this is true. It's going to do this. It's going to do this. If this is ever true, then it goes into it, into that indent, and runs it. So let's see how that um, runs. So I can save $10 every day. What am I saving for? Um, I'm saving for shoes, and they cost $100. How much do I have now? I have $5. And you'll see it'll run all the way until I get to $105, which is more than $100 that I needed, and it will stop, but not before that. So now the last thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to keep track of how many times through the loop it was, it was uh, taking me. So I'm going to use a counter, and I'm going to start off at week zero. And each time I'm going to do counter equals counter plus And I'm going to put this in there too. 
counter. So it'll monitor what week we're at. Now watch what happens when I do this. Bam. How much cash do you have? I have, I can save $5 every day. What are you saving for? Um, I'm saving for a car. How much does that cost nowadays? I'm getting a cheap car, it's only 200 bucks. Uh, how much do I have now? I have 104 bucks. So the one thing that I'll notice is that all my week counters are one off. Um, I don't have a, if this was truly week zero, right? If it was week zero, um, I would, I would have, I should have my starting value, which would be 104. So there's lots of different ways to fix that. Um, I could start my counter at one. Um, I could move the counter plus counter plus one above that. Uh, lots of different options here. So now it should work perfectly. Uh, what are you saving for? Um, Doritos. Uh, how much do those cost every day? Uh, I want uh, $350 worth of Doritos. And how much do I have now? I only have $111. Um, and it will count up how long it will take me and exactly uh, how much money I have at each week. All right, cool.